Hello my beautiful Sagittarius friends. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. So glad to have you here. Let's look at the overall energy of your love reading Sagittarius. Body and soul. Look at that. You have a very, very powerful relationship. Very important vibe going on here that has your attention, your full attention. Divine matrix. So there is something divine that spirit wants you to learn or experience in this relationship. A grand symphony. Well, the two of you may share an interest in music or even meet at a music festival or concert. So let's look and see now. The overall energy from the Light Seer's Tarot is a six of coins, and the overall energy um, from the Dreaming Way Tarot is the Queen of Cups. So the overall energy really speaks to the fact that both of you want equal give and take. You both need and desire a Queen of Cups energy, a very nurturing, sweet experience in this relationship. Aries energy is here clarified by the Four of Swords. So in the recent past, both of you burst forth. You both really were attracted to each other. You jumped into the relationship. Very fiery, very passionate. But we get this Four of Swords. So it looks as though there's been some sort of misunderstanding or heartache or something's going on here. Because the Four of Swords and the Five of Swords are cards of healing and confidence. Conflict. So what is it about this relationship and the passion? Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. So it appears that somebody came in without being fully honest about their approach or what they wanted from the relationship. It is mutual energy, so you may not have disclosed much about yourselves. This could also be a secret affair for some. It won't be for everyone. But the Four of Coins, you want to hold on to each other. But this started out with a big bang. And I mean it literally. So it does look like there was a lot of just passionate embrace. And it looks as though there may not be contact. Or there wasn't contact for a period of time afterwards. We see right now that there is a conflict between the two of you. It speaks to the fact that you both want a new beginning in love. Both of you want to choose one another. So we see that, you know, you want to throw caution to the winds. And the death card, there needs to be a rebirth in this passionate relationship. But it does look like somebody left the other out in the cold. So it's, um, I feel very much that Sagittarius, it might have been your person because we have that in and out energy of the, that's your energy. Actually, it's your energy, but it's your person who, who had the in and out energy with you when we look at it from that standpoint. So what we see here is that both of you want to get over something that happened that seemed unfair. An argument, something that was said that was really raw. You know, it looks as though this relationship may have ended as quickly as it began. But let's see why we have the death card here. Ten of Swords. Ooh. So there was some sort of complication, betrayal some situation that really put an end to the relationship very quickly. So why do we have the Knight of Wands energy? Eight of Wands, your person wants to come back in very rapidly. They, We do have that your person is viewing the situation from a much more emotional viewpoint now. They want to win with you. They, they really enjoyed the passion with you. They want to come in with more passion. Your person is trying to stay very calm, cool, and collected. But we're going to dig in more to this energy of the Ten of Swords. Five of Swords, Five of Coins, Ten of Swords. What on earth happened? Because this is pretty difficult. So it does look like somebody may have been married. They may not have disclosed that. It looks like there's a lot of defensiveness between the two of you for what happened. When we get the Aries Queen of Wands, okay. So there's some ghosting that went on here. After a very fiery beginning, after a very passionate um, fling, 
you really, both of you kind of want to have the real thing with each other. So your person is wanting the passion again. The King of Swords energy, they're trying to figure out how to approach you. When we look at the energy though, when we look at body and soul, divine matrix, and a grand symphony, both of you have a strong desire to see each other, but boy, something happened, something happened here. This ghosting is not acceptable. Whatever happened here, somebody went too long without communicating is what I'm getting. So when we look at the magician energy, that's how they view you, Virgo, excuse me, Virgo and Gemini energy. They see you as a real problem solver of somebody that's very magical. They see you as someone who can manifest virtually anything. They feel as though the chemistry between you is off the charts. They want to have a collaborative relationship with you. Here we go, the chariot card. They could drop by your house unexpectedly. Um, it really shows them coming towards you, making a big approach. Cancerian energy again. So now we have a divine couple, two people who fell into bed probably at a time you least expected this adventure to occur. And now both of you are in this awkward position of catching feels and wanting one another. Again, I think many of you met at work. We have the Four of Cups. So it does show that your person thinks that you're dissatisfied or unhappy with them. When we look at your person in terms of their energy with the Three of Pentacles, they want to collaborate. They want to make a head over heart decision. They don't want to be swept up in passion. They understand that that's not the right way to make the decision. So it does look like your person's upset, you're upset. Oh my goodness, what happened? The Eight of Cups, they look like they're mar mad at you, marching off. You look like you're, you know, you've had it with them. And yet there's all this great energy and attraction. I don't think you know what to do with it. The Wheel of Fortune is how your person is viewing the situation. They realize that both of you have been a lightweight. Your person may be younger than you also, Sag. We see your person. Here's your energy right, right here, Sagittarius, temperance energy. The wheel of fortune. Your person feels as though you're mad at them. They're mad at you. This really went sideways, whatever happened here. And I just think it was, you know, I just think that people lived through their passion and didn't think it through. Your person, though, wants a beginning with you. They want a reconciliation with you. They want to step forward and tell you how they feel. The Wheel of Fortune says that they're trying to find the right time. Why is this Page of Cups here? Page of Cups. Your person realizes that they were a lightweight. They also realize that, you know, they didn't really give you very much of a good show of themselves. They feel kind of dumb. The Ten of Cups. Good. Great energy. I do feel very strongly, though, with this Queen of Wands that there is some sort of situation in which somebody is separated from their spouse or they're married to somebody else or they were married to somebody else. But I'm getting this vibe that there was probably a fling maybe at a work meeting away from town, out of town. I feel as though the two of you did not come upon this relationship through a specific plan. And it looks like both of you are, again, upset with each other. But look at this, the sun card, happiest card in the deck. So the sun card here is Leo energy. A lot of fire here, guys and gals. Cancerian energy, the high priestess, both of you are being very discreet. This looks like a secret relationship, and it turned out to be a soulmate connection. That's why you have all of this sort of, oh, let's just have fun. Oh, oops, we caught feelings and emotions. Very intense here, my friends. When we look at the lover's energy clarifying the high priestess, Secret energy, secret soulmate, competition of a minor variety. Both of you are being way too defensive. You guys need to look at what's right, not who's right. You need to get out of this energy of, of fighting, kind of this low-level fighting and banter. You need to release any conflict the two of you have because both of you caught feels here, and this is a soulmate relationship. 
Spirit is recommending that you look out for yourself. And we have the Aries Queen again. So Sagittarius, what's going on here? Spirit is saying that, you know, you caught some major feelings that you're in love, that this is a new beginning, that you're going to have to study the situation to see if you think that you should invest. What does Spirit think you should do about this? What is Spirit's idea about what you should do or how you should handle this? Watch this person on the internet and make sure that they are not a player. All right, so we have the strength card, Leo energy again, a lot. You may be dealing with a Leo, but we've mentioned most of the signs, Pisces, a lot of Leo energy though. So what's going to happen here? Look at that, the Empress card. Both of you are manifesting each other. Very romantic card with that Pisces energy. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, we can't make this up. You are an emperor and empress that sort of fell into bed or into a relationship together that you did not plan. That's what I'm seeing here. And both of you, there's a lot of symphony. There's the divine matrix. There's a mystery involved here. But this is for your soul development too. Body and soul again, you know, this, this feeling of symphony. There's a lot more to this story than meets the eye. So sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, tell me where you're from, Sagittarius. Thanks so much. Tell me if you like the speed shuffle. Bye-bye.